What is the difference between alligators and caimans? Have you ever seen a pair of mysterious eyes peering out from a swamp and wondered, is that an alligator or a caiman? These two scaly reptiles look a lot alike. Both have big jaws, sharp teeth, and a prehistoric vibe. So it's easy to mix them up. Are caimans just small alligators living somewhere else? Do alligators have secret features that caimans don't? If you're curious about what sets an alligator apart from a caiman, you're in the right place. What exactly is the difference between alligators and caimans? Meet the reptilian cousins. An American alligator basks on a riverbank in Florida. Alligators and caimans are close cousins in the reptile world, both belonging to the alligatoridae family. Alligators and caimans are actually family. Both belong to the alligatoridae family, basically the alligator family, within the crocodile group. This means they are cousins on the reptile family tree. In fact, caimans are so closely related to true alligators that they look like smaller versions of them at first glance. There are only two species of alligator in the world, the American alligator and the Chinese alligator. But there are several kinds of caimans, about six species, living in Central and South America. So one quick clue, if you're not in the Americas, or China for that rare Chinese alligator, you're probably not looking at either an alligator or a caiman. But if you are in alligator or caiman territory, you'll need to look closer to tell these reptiles apart. Home Sweet Swamp – Where They Live One of the biggest differences between alligators and caimans is where they call home. Alligators are found in only two places – the southeastern United States and eastern China. The American alligator is common in swamps and rivers of Florida, Louisiana, and nearby states, while the much smaller Chinese alligator lives in the Yangtze River Valley in China. Caimans, on the other hand, are native to the marshes and waterways of Central and South America. You might spot a caiman in the Amazon basin or the wetlands of the Pantanal in countries like Brazil, Colombia, or Peru, but you won't find wild alligators there. So if you see a crocodilian creature in South America, it's almost certainly a caiman, not an alligator. Both alligators and caimans prefer freshwater habitats like slow-moving rivers, lakes, swamps, and marshes, and neither is usually found in the ocean. Another interesting difference is climate tolerance. American alligators can handle colder temperatures than caimans can. In the southern US, alligators brumate a reptile version of hibernating during chilly winters, and have even been seen poking their snouts through ice to breathe. Caimans live in tropical climates that stay warm year-round so they don't experience freezing waters. Size – The big and the small Is one bigger than the other? Generally, yes. The American alligator is one of the larger crocodilians. Adult males can reach around 13 to 15 feet long and weigh up to 500 to 1,000 pounds in big individuals. Caimans, in contrast, are usually smaller. Most caiman species, like the spectacled caiman or the yakari caiman, grow to about 6 to 8 feet long and weigh much less, around 50 to 100 pounds on average. However, there is an exception – the black caiman. The black caiman is the giant of the caiman family and can rival the American alligator in size. Large male black caimans may grow over 13 feet long and weigh close to 1,000 pounds, just like a big gator. In fact, the black caiman is the largest predator in the Amazon region. So while alligators tend to be bigger than caimans, a full-grown black caiman can be just as hefty as an alligator heavyweight. Snout and smile – face-to-face -face differences A spectacled caiman shows off its toothed smile. Caimans have a bony ridge between their eyes, like a pair of spectacles, and often longer, sharper teeth than alligators. Take a good look at the face, the snout and teeth can tell you a lot. Alligators are famous for their broad, U-shaped snouts, which look wide and rounded at the end. Caimans also have relatively broad snouts, more U-shaped than the narrow V-shaped snouts of true crocodiles. In fact, at a glance, an alligator's and a caiman's snout look quite similar. Both are somewhat flat and rounded, but there's a subtle difference. 
Inside an alligator's snout, there is a bony partition, a septum, dividing the nostrils, while caimans lack this bony divider. You can't really see that septum from the outside, but it's a structural difference scientists note when comparing skulls. One thing you might notice externally is that many caimans, like the spectacled caiman, have a bony ridge between their eyes, earning the spectacled nickname. Alligators have a smoother forehead in comparison. Both alligators and caimans have plenty of teeth, but the shape and visibility of those teeth differ. An alligator's teeth tend to be short, thick, and rounded, perfect for crushing things like turtle shells. Caiman teeth are usually longer, sharper, and more needle-like, handy for grabbing fish and small animals. When an alligator closes its mouth, you typically see only its upper teeth, because the alligator's upper jaw is wider and overlaps the lower jaw, a bit of an overbite. Caimans also usually hide their lower teeth when the mouth is shut, unlike crocodiles which show some bottom teeth, so both caimans and alligators have a neater smile than a crocodile. However, caimans often have a noticeably larger upper jaw relative to their lower jaw, giving them a bit of a big-headed look. Skin and Scales – Built-in Armor Both alligators and caimans are covered in tough scaly skin that looks like armor, but if you could touch carefully or examine their hides, you'd find a difference in texture. Alligator skin is relatively smoother and more supple, soft on the belly, which is why it's unfortunately prized for making leather goods. Caiman skin is usually stiffer and bumpier. Caimans have extra bits of bone embedded in their scales, particularly on their bellies, called osteoderms or bony scutes. Their belly scales overlap like tough tiles with a seam suture in each one, making a kind of chainmail armor. These calcium rivets in caiman scales make their hide less flexible than an alligator's hide. In short, an alligator feels a tad more like leathery armor, while a caiman feels like armor with extra spikes. In terms of color, both can be muddy green, gray, or brown, depending on species and environment. American alligators often look dark greenish black. Caimans like the black caiman are, as the name says, very dark, almost black. Temperament and Behavior What about how they act? All crocodiles have a bit of a prehistoric attitude, but alligators and caimans do differ in general temperament. Alligators, especially the American alligator, are often considered the more easygoing of the bunch. They're opportunistic hunters, but usually shy around humans and will bask lazily unless disturbed. In fact, among crocodiles, alligators, and caimans, the American alligator is thought to be the least aggressive toward people. Caimans, in contrast, can be a bit more feisty. Wildlife experts often note that caimans are more aggressive than alligators, but less aggressive than large crocodiles. Kind of a middle ground in temperament. Caimans, especially during breeding season, can be very territorial and won't hesitate to hiss or snap if you get too close. This might be partly because many caimans are smaller and have more to fear, so they're extra defensive, whereas a big alligator is confident and tends to mind its own business unless provoked. Both alligators and caimans are mostly nocturnal hunters. They like to sneak up on prey in the water at night. They eat similar foods fish, birds, amphibians, and small mammals. Larger individuals might tackle bigger prey. An alligator might grab an unwary deer, and a black caiman might ambush a capybara or even anacondas. And both are loving mothers in their own reptilian way. Alligator and caiman moms guard their nests of eggs and carry hatchlings to the water in their jaws, gently caring for their babies. So, in lifestyle, they're quite similar. The key behavioral difference is really that Caimans are often a bit more prone to stand their ground or act aggressively, whereas alligators are relatively more mellow around humans. Of course, never underestimate either, both have powerful jaws and should be respected in the wild. Alligators and caimans are like close cousins with different hometowns and a few unique traits. An alligator is basically a big boss of the swamp in North America or China with a broad smile and a laid-back attitude. A caiman is its South American cousin, usually smaller, a bit more scrappy, with a bony plated outfit and a feistier outlook on life. 
They share a lot in common, after all, they are part of the same family, but now you know the key giveaways to tell them apart. So, next time someone says, see you later alligator, you can smile and reply, in a while, caiman, and then explain the difference. You'll impress them with your wildlife wisdom. Both these reptiles are amazing in their own right, and understanding their differences helps us appreciate them even more. Alligator or caiman? Now you can confidently answer that question, and you won't be crocodile tears sad about mixing them up ever again.